Welcome back to the Carbotex Detailing Channel. My name is Andrew. And I'm Carl. Now we've got all the promo boards out, so that means something very, very special hopefully is about to happen, so stay tuned. The question myself and Carl are asking, is our work over the next weekend the ultimate detailing experience? Okay, so this is the vehicle we're working on today, a 14-year-old Audi A4 estate. Um, it's not too dirty, but we're going to give it the full um, safe maintenance wash and all the good stuff, chemical decontamination. And um, we're going to show you when we get it inside that the actual paintwork needs um, some correction. So we are going to be claying and we are going to probably be doing a one or two stage uh, machine polishing. And then me and Carl will do a full assessment and we're going to sort of decide where we're going with the LSP. But we've got uh, a bit of a treat in store for you on that one. Okay, a quick sort of evaluation of the products we've uh, used so far. Now, we didn't have everything in the range, so um, we have used other brands for things like um, tire and glue and things like that. Anything non-Swiss facts, I will list in the video description. So we're going to keep you up to date um, as we go on. So the first one was um, Swiss Facts' Wheel Spray Forte. Um, we both used it. Very, very safe under the brush. Foams up really, really well. So if you've got gloss black wheels, I think you're going to be, um, you're going to enjoy using this one. Not the strongest fallout aspect um, in terms of the uh, colors sort of changing color. We did use a super powerful one afterwards and it still sort of went purple. So this is a, a sort of a gentle wheel cleaner. What are your thoughts? Uh, exactly the same as you. So when, when I used it, it felt really safe uh, from a lubricated sense with my, uh, the wheel brushes against it. However, it wasn't the strongest in the iron fallout, so completely in agreement with you. Yeah, but it cleaned the wheels really well yeah, because these were really, the barrels were really, really bad and they've come up pucker. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, definitely. So that's that one. Next one we used was uh, Swiss Facts' Car Bath. Um, not the, uh, we went with, in fact, you loaded up, you went with the instructions and you're, you're a believer that you probably need more than what Swiss Facts say because it didn't foam up that well. So, yeah, so it said a cap full to 20 litres of water. So I did a cap full. Um, it, it wasn't the sudsiest of shampoos I've ever used. I, I didn't feel unsafe using it. It just wasn't sudsy. That's, that's the, probably the best But then we put it. another cap in and it was fine, wasn't yes, it? absolutely. So maybe experiment with that one. Could be to do with hard and soft water as well. So we didn't factor that in. Um, so to sort of test and adjust on that. But once again, it felt safe. So if you look at it in this way, it, the Swiss Fax is designed for your high-end cars. You are not going to be wanting anything that is aggressive in any type of cleaner. You don't want chemical um, burns no, and all that kind of stuff. Exactly. So that is where I think this sits. It is the high-end car, the gloss black wheels, Absolutely. all that kind of stuff. Absolutely. The last one is Swiss Facts in the phase so far was Swiss Facts Paint Rubber, also known as Clay Bar. Um, and we both use this. Uh, I'll let you do this one because you, you love this. And we're, we're experimenting with clays at the moment and I'm, I'm digging this. So it, right, it, tell them about the unpacking experience you I'll had. Say, so it is an incredibly sticky clay bar. Yeah. To the fact that I attached it, and the best way is to say I yeah. attached it to my glove, I could hold it up yeah. and it didn't drop off and my do fingers. This. And I, it, it is sticky when you first start to use it. Yeah. However, as, as I use more, it more and more, uh, the, warmed the, up. The, the, warmed up, the stickiness stop, uh, stopped in regards to my glove. However, it really was good. It was really nice and malleable. It was able to draw out those extra contaminants that are in yeah, the paintwork. Yeah, did work. a good job. I really did enjoy using this. So I think with that one, work it, work it a bit in your hands, maybe, maybe warm it up, um, but super, super sticky. Yeah. But didn't feel like one of these aggressive clay bars. It still felt safe. There was still a massaging feeling. So Hard to articulate. Say, so I would say that's probably more on the age, of, uh, more on the side of a soft clay bar yeah. than your, your medium and your hards. So. Okay, cool. So short and sweet, sweet. There are feelings so far. So um, now the beautification bit. Um, we have got Swiss Fax uh, machine polishing pads, and we've also got a medium compound and a regular compound. And the re regular compound. So we're gonna, we've split the bonnet in half. We're going to do it a half and a half. This car needs a lot of work. Okay, so that's the maintenance wash done, chemical decon, mechanical decon done. Now the vehicle looks amazing, doesn't it? But oh no, 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 no. 
Um, Carl's just waiting over there. Have a quick look at this. It is horrible. Look at it all. I'm trying to get the lights, you can see it. Look at all those nasty watermarks. They're absolutely covered. Let's toggle the light so we can see some. In terms of scratches, there's not many. So there's not many swirls, but you can see all the nasty watermarks all over the place. Okay, so that's this half done um, with the Swiss Flax um, Cleanser Fluid Professional Medium with the Swiss Flax um, Medium Pad. Um, huge, huge difference. Now, this car is 14 years old. There are some deep scratches. We're limited by time. Um, but Carl, if you want to just move the, remove the tape, um, we'll have a look at the difference. Okay, so I've got the scan grip torch. So, that's all those marks that we were looking at. So if I just do, that's better. So you can, see, there we go. All those swirl marks, and then we come over the middle. Look at that. This is why, although me and Carl, Carl isn't mic'd up, we enjoy the washing. It's the, it's this bit. So you can see all the nasty stuff, and then, onto clean paint okay so there's still a few little scratches but and going back onto there we go so my personal opinion the medium compound and the medium cleanser fluid work well together then they're, the, they're not the most aggressive medium but for a car like this where we're not chasing perfection it's absolutely great um, and certainly if you've got a nice car that isn't you know, in, in too bad condition. This is a very, this has got finesse to it, this compound, but still got to do that side. That is looking great. So I'm really, really happy. Um, it's first time using this posh, uh, these polishing pads and compounds. So really, really pleased with that. So Carl's ready. He's saying, get on with it. We have got the rest of this car to polish. So uh, exciting times. Okay, if you think we're looking tired, that was hard work. I'm not gonna tell you how long, but multiple hours machine polishing um, this car. Uh, we always fall into the trap of chasing perfection, but we had to have a reality check, but we've done well. No, what you do is you need to pull me back because I'm the one that's normally searching for perfection. So I've done about three panels, he was still on the same one, okay. <laughs> but anyway, that goes by. It's a good thing, it's a good thing. Okay, so we had a choice out of two. We had the Cleanser Fluid Professional Medium and the Cleanser Fluid Professional Regular. We went for the medium because it's got a bit more bite. Um, so as a compound, um, as you know, we're used to using the Svizzer system. So we were sort of learning our trade on this. Um, but we used this in conjunction with the Blue Swiss Flax pad 
and did a really, really good job. Um, this um, doesn't produce any powder. It gives you plenty of work time. Um, you can clearly see where it goes. It just didn't dry up. So we were, we were really quite pleased with it, bearing in mind we'd never used these before. Um, but we did have to go over. You had to switch to some heavier compound um, and heavier pads from um, Swizzer, didn't you, for this one? Yeah. Surely because we didn't have the ones from Swiss Fax. But... Yeah, so, so there were some, some deeper scratches and some marring that, uh, even though this was doing a good job, wasn't really cutting it so I had to step up with this with a uh, heavy cut and heavy pad. It probably would have done it but we would push for time so we thought we knew how to um, sort of expedite, um, expedite the process which is what we've done. Okay uh, we're going to show you um, the fruits of our labour shortly it is looking fantastic I'd say we've probably got about 80-85% of the scratches out all the swirls have gone but hard work. Right then preparation for LSP. Okay so preparation for wax phase um, we've, we keep laughing because we've had a good it's been a good day so far. Cleaning fluid regular now I've uh, well we have already gone around with panel uh, panel wipe and um, a lot of people say why do you use panel wipe if you're going to use this um, no particular reason but certainly putting panel wipe on it getting rid of the the compound residue it's not going to do any harm okay so it's an additional step and um, so we're going to um, re, uh, refocus the camera onto the bonnet and then we're going to give you a quick demo of this black this on the car get it nicer and um, ready for the wax and we haven't told you which wax we're using yet Right, so now it's time to apply the, uh, the cleaner fluid regular. Okay, so his instructions are to apply liberally, but in a back and forth motion, and it does state not to do it in circular motions. So I'm gonna have to make sure I concentrate on this one because I do like to do circular motions. So apply liberally onto the cotton pad. And just back and forth, making sure you're covering all aspects of the car. So it also says to not let it dry, doesn't yeah. it, as well? So you're sort of doing a manageable area, really, aren't you? Does it go on nice and easy? It's Is it grabbing on it? Sorry, yeah. I'm, I'm I'm in my zone, but uh, yeah, going on really nicely. Just make sure I'm working it in. And then, yeah, not grainy at all. A little bit more just to finish off this, this lower part. It's nice when you've actually got a product that says liberally rather than sparingly, isn't it? Yeah. But I suppose the less you put on, the easier probably it's going to come off, but uh, that waits to be seen. So... Smell chemically? No, no chemical smell at all. Yeah. So it's, there's no scent to it at inert. all. Inert. Yeah, it's inert. That's a good word. It's a good word. Love that. Thanks. So, have a, I was just, as you can see, because of all the panel prep we'd done prior to this anyway, That's nothing good. really coming off. So, so I think, I think, you know, these are, cleanser fluids um, but a lot of these brands it might be a marketing thing but they always advise using their cleaner fluid because it facilitates um, the sort of uh, longevity of the wax um, but I suppose Swiss Wax would have done the research of these two together so you've got to trust them let's just like any brand really don't you that, the, that their products work in combination well they're the ones that have designed it exactly as a pairing so we have to we have to trust what they say I'm looking forward to this these feel so plush. It is yeah. ridiculous. The micro fluffy. Micro fluffy. Right then, let's see. Uh... So yeah, it takes a little bit of work to get off, mm -hmm. if I'm going to be brutally honest, yeah. but I wouldn't say it's Probably have to be able to roll it up now, can't you, and do the... Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Right. Once you've got that sort of top layer off... Yeah, the crust, as we the say. The crust, yeah, it comes off lovely. So, yeah, that's the uh, cleaner fluid applied and removed.
Okay, cleanser fluid regular done. Quite easy, not the easiest pre-wax cleaner I've used. Um, it does take a bit of effort um, to take off. Now, these um, micro fluffies are super, super soft, but what we both found is they quite quickly become saturated um, when you're actually taking the product off. So make sure you've got plenty of these. And another top tip, once you've done your whole car, leave it five, 10 minutes, go back and have a look at it, because I guarantee you've missed some bits, so get a fresh one, and just go round and mop the final bits up. Um, but my personal opinion is, um, we, we, it's hard to tell when we've got the car looking this good, but it, it seems to have made it pop a little bit. Uh, they're my thoughts. Uh, what was your experience, Carl? Yeah, so uh, exactly, and a real dot or two apply, uh, as long as you do it in the straight, straight lines, as it said. Um, I'm the same as you. There was difficulty, or some d level of difficulty, removing it. Um, but as long as you kept fresh uh, microfibers, mm. that kept on top of yeah. uh, keeping it easier to, to take off. So, uh, and yet, I do think it's enhanced the gloss it a little bit. It seems to us. It, it seems to. So, or, or we're just, we're just. In Optimistic, in awe of it. In awe of our own work. <laughs> Absolutely, the machine yeah. polishing. So when we say difficult, it comes off, but whereas some pre-wax cleaners, that's it. You do need to go back with a fresh one to finally take that, yeah. those last bits up. Okay, the exciting bit. Now you've already seen we've done a video um, Swiss Vax Shield, okay, which was arguably the lower end of Swiss Vax's um, wax uh, range. We've gone right to the top this time and it's quite exciting, um, <laughs> but we are going to be using Swiss Vax Carrot. Um, now, this one comes beautifully presented like all their waxes. Um, it's the 200 milliliter jar, um, and I'm going to read off some instructions. So, it's 81% volume of wax. So, out of the wax content, 81% of it is canorbit. It's got the PTFE in, just like um, uh, Shield. Shield. Um, it's got um, sort of organic carriers, so it doesn't smell of the, the stereotypical petroleum based carriers that you can get. Um, and the price is, if you want to go and buy one currently, £1,438. Okay, now you're laughing, um, but at the end of the day, that's the price of it. And it, we do not is. get bogged down with the price. Um, you're going to hear our rationale for um, what we think about the price right at the end of the video. Okay, but we're going to test this exactly the same as any other wax. Um, but we're really, really looking forward to uh, testing it. So uh, we're going to get ready for the demo and then see what magic this can perform. Okay, so quick demo on Swiss Vax Carrot. Um, now, uh, the um, instructions are quite simple, and just like any other wax, um, we're going to be applying it. Uh, Carl, instructions, did it say um, circular motion or It didn't say light? any kind of motion. It just said to apply a even layer. Okay. Seems to be spreading nicely, though. Yeah, it's nice and Oh, my God. It smells amazing. Yeah, I'd definitely go break my rule here. I'd definitely go in circles. See, that, for me, that's how I prefer to put a wax on. Yeah. I think there is a bit of preference. I mean, some wax producers say straight lines. Some uh, Michelin Kings, I always go in um, straight lines, I must admit. But this one's definitely a, a circular one. So the instructions say um, a thin, even coverage. And we, that, that goes without saying for all waxes. And then, then it says leave for several minutes, but don't let it dry. Then use one of their fluffy microfibers, turning it regularly and then once you've done it Carl did it say try not to touch it for three hours yeah so try not to touch it with your sleep. fingers for three hour for at least three hours and then it's basically keep it out of the sun I've got to say that's quite a strong it's the scent is it really is enjoyable but it's really it's... quite strong because I can actually I'm behind the camera and I'm getting a lovely waft of that that the scent of that wax as yeah. uh, Andy's applying it what I am seeing now, it definitely seems to be darkening the colour a bit. And it'd be interesting to see what it's like post-removal. Now that the, mic, uh, the applicator is a bit more loaded with the the wax it seems to be pushing around a little that just that little bit further which is lovely might be actually worth using their quick detailer to almost prime Prep, that yeah. pad so maybe that's what we'll try 
um, for the rest of it. Right, okay, so that is the bonnet done. Uh, we're going to leave it um, a period of time. We're going to make sure it doesn't dry, um, and then we'll uh, video the removal. Okay, so we've left that probably about four or five minutes. Um, we've been testing a few corners and it's, it's starting to get to the point where it's going to start drying soon, so uh, we're going to remove it. So we've got a brand new Micro Fluffy. They are so soft. And let's uh, have a look at removal. Well, that is absolutely effortless. I'm going to move round so I'll just step behind you Carl. This is the type of wax you could blow on and it would disappear. Well, that is well you, you're putting very little effort I'm into that. I'm hardly touching it. And it's just coming off. That is a absolute breeze to remove. Absolutely effortless. I will say that is another, we test a lot of waxes, that has got to be the easiest wax to remove that I have tested. And I'm not just saying that because it's an expensive wax or anything like that. That is effortless. Now, we're going to obviously return to this longevity. There is the argument that the harder the wax to remove, the, you know, the greater longevity. Um, but we will revisit this vehicle to look at the longevity of this. Okay, that is the waxing done. I'm deliberately not showing you the results, but they are worth waiting for, trust me. Now, I personally learned a lot about what we did about this wax. It's the first time we've used it, um, and the user experience was superb. Um, the smell, easy on, ridiculously easy off. You can literally blow it off, um, and the results you're gonna see uh, a bit later on in the video. Now, uh, do you wanna go first this time? Or do you oh, want me I'll go first. Go, go, fill your boots. Thank you. Um, yeah, this really was a pleasure to use. Like you said, really easy on, even easier off. It was ridiculous yep. how easy it was to take this off. And I know you can't see it at the moment, but the finish, finish that's left on the car is... Mm, it's darkened the colour. Yeah. And people say that wax doesn't enhance gloss. Rubbish. Absolute rubbish. Now I know the majority of the gloss comes from machine polishing. This has really enhanced the shine. But it has said that it can, it does darken the paint yeah. in the instructions online. Not on the pot itself, but if you go online, it does give you how to uh, apply the wax and that it mm. can darken the paintwork. So, and, and it has. And it has. And 
I, I'm, I'm so happy with the results I at am, the moment. I am, and I'm sure you're going to be as well. Now, what we, um, well, what I found, disagree if you want, Carl, that's why you get two, two for the price of one, um, application. Now, we did the demo using this applicator, and a lot of the waxes we've been using have been sort of um, heavily solvent one, quite greasy waxes. This is a high, high canorba content, so it's dry. Um, now, although you, I found it okay to uh, uh, apply with the um, actual applicator, you'll see some videos of us both playing um, with using our hands. Now, you know, your, your high-end waxes like um, Swiss Vax, um, you know, you watch a lot of videos, people are applying by hand. So we gave it a go, just like we did with Shield. And I am hands down um, convinced that by hand is the best way to do it. Um, it applies slightly more product, still comes off easier, but that, that warming action of putting it in your palm makes it a lot more playable and spreadable, in my opinion. And it was... I don't know, there's just something about applying a wax, a luxury, a luxury wax by hand was a really, really enjoyable experience for me. And as a wax lover, if I'm using this again, 100%, that's going, okay? And I'm using these, okay? Rings off, watch off, cut your nails and all the good stuff. Yeah. Uh, it's so much easier. I'm not trying to steer you. If you disagree, no, I, but I, what, you I, had I, a go as well. I did have a go. and. The, my first attempt, I, I didn't apply enough on hand, and I could see my set. I, it was drag. It, it, I was dragging. Mm. However, when I applied more onto my hand and really warmed up, uh, it was much much easier to use. I'm, it's a strange sensation. I, I can see how people would enjoy that. Yeah. I'm jury's still out for me because it it was just. Because I'm not used to it. I think it was, for me, it was just a weird sensation. Well, we're always taught to put gloves on when applying anything. Yeah. Okay, so your jury's out. I am 100% hand application. I'm sold convinced for this specific wax, because it's a bit harder, that... That's hands, hands. We'd now wasted an applicator. Yeah, yeah, that's all have. right. We'll just pick it up and we'll use it again. That was a joke, by the way. But um, no, that's fantastic. Right. OK, so we, we haven't finished yet. And the reason why I'm not showing you the car yet is we've got another step. Now, we are going to come back in 24 hours because uh, we need some sleep. It's been a long, long day. So we're going to yeah. come back tomorrow evening. And we've got one, one final step to enhance the protection, the hydrophobicity. Yes, we've got all the hydrophobicity checks still to come. And um, we've got something a little bit different still to do on this car that will get people talking. We had to do, we had to contact SwissFax um, to understand the theory behind what we're going to do next. So keep watching, but we'll be back in 24 hours. So I hope you get some sleep. It's been a long day. It's not, sleep's not going to be an issue tonight. Laters. Okay, we're back 20, well, it's about 20 hours later, not 24, 20 hours later. Did you have a good sleep? I, I slept like a baby. My back and legs were aching after a great day yesterday, but hard work, a good 12 hour shift. So the reason why we have come back 24 hours later is we're planning to do something on top of the wax. Um, don't worry, the hydrophobicity test and all that kind of stuff is coming soon. So we've already applied the carrot. Now, carrot is a high canorba based product. And as we know that the products with a high canorba, the non-synthetic, are limited in terms of longevity. Most of the time I sort of get between sort of four and six weeks, maybe pushing out to eight, but they're very, very susceptible to chemicals, okay, that you're using in your, in your wash process. So SwissFax have come up with a product that um, is aimed at putting a seal over this wax um, to give some additional longevity. Now the product that we're gonna be applying to this vehicle is Ceramic 9 or K9. Now it uses terminology like a glaze and everything, but don't see it in terms of a glaze as in, you know, normally put your glaze down first to get in all the swirls and then you put your protection over it. Um, this is basically a cocoon over the wax that is going to protect the wax, give it some additional longevity and allegedly um, enhance the hydrophobics even further. So we are going to do a side by side. Now this product is aimed at applying protection to any of their waxes but the, the golden rule is you have to let your uh, wax fully cure for 24 hours before you're applying this. So we're going to show you a demonstration, show you how easy it is um, and then see if this does make any difference um, in terms of the aesthetics, um, the actual hydrophobicity and we will be returning in three months and doing a bit of a side by side on a panel on this car just one with a carrot and one with the uh, K9. Okay so K9 nice and simple to apply. Now we've talked to Swiss Facts because this is a new product for me um, and their advice is to um, wet um, one of their microfibers, wring it out so it's just slightly damp. So wring it out as hard as you can so it's still damp but there's no dripping water. Um, less is more with this product so we're literally I've put 
six sprays on that, between sort of four and six. And then you're just applying it nice and evenly on the actual paintwork. Now I'm going to go to the halfway mark because we are not going to apply it to that side at all. We're going to do the rest of the car and then in a two or three months we're going to come back and see if there's any difference. Get one of the fluffy microfibers and it comes off super, super easy. Effortless. Okay, so we've applied K9 to the entire vehicle. Uh, you saw us do the demo on this side and we've left that side um, just with the wax on. So just interesting, Carl, any difference in sort of feel in terms of slickness between the wax side and then the sort of wax protected side? Minuscule amount of a little bit more slick on the, so the K9 side to the slightly to the more slickness. Well, that's a good but, sign, but yep. not massive. Not so. massive. Okay, so the hydrophobicity test. So we're going to do the just the wax side first. So we'll do the beading check first. So uh, we'll take some photographs as well. Okay, so. That's with the GoPro, and we'll take some photographs shortly. Thoughts, Carl? It's beaded nicely, nice and high, uniformed. Uniform, high contact angle, fantastic. Yeah, so lovely. we'll go over to the other side. So this is with Swiss Wax Carrot and the actual wax protector coating on it as well. Okay, and we'll take some photographs as well. Right, well, I think the beading's nice and high, but the water's running off, so my thoughts are this yeah. is slightly more hydrophobic. Yeah, it is. It, I would say that the, the uh, beading's higher, so. Higher, higher yeah. beads, increased contact angle, and the yeah. water doesn't want to stay on the bonnet, doesn't no. it? So that, that's, that's encouraging. There's a difference between the two. So we'll do the water runoff test. But before we do that, so that's the side with the wax, and you can see that just wants to run off. So I'm expecting to see a difference here with the runoff test. So give it large. So that's just the wax. So it's sheeting nicely. Sheeting very well. Yep, agreed. Yep. On to the side with the wax and the K9 wax protector on it as well. In fact, I'll take it from the same angle for fairness. Yep. For me, it's sheeting much, much better on the, the, the actual ceramic well, it's side. It's leaving nothing behind, is it? No. So, that's quite encouraging actually, because if they're professing that it's going to protect the wax, um, they do say it's more hydrophobic. I, I'm, I think that test is quite clear. Yeah. We're both in agreement from Absolutely. a contact angle, beads and sheeting. Um, yeah, they, definitely makes a difference. Yeah. Um, so that's, that's good that it's leaving a product behind. Um, so it'll be interesting to see, because we're not going to put the protector on this side in three months when we come to look at it, whether there is a difference between the two. Um, i.e. if this side died but that's still good um, it sort of justifies putting that coating on doesn't it absolutely are we finished testing we are finished testing wrap up summary time then okay so that's the car finished now we have gone round and done a bit of 
titivation. Uh, we split the jobs up, so I've gone round with the wheels um, and used Autobahn, which is their Canorba-based wheel wax. Super easy to um, apply. Leave it about, for about 10 minutes, then remove it, and the gloss enhancement on the wheels, as you're going to see later, is absolutely phenomenal. Um, really pops, doesn't it, draws your eye. It is shockingly good it how is. well it popped. Yeah, I've used a couple of wheel waxes. I usually go for ceramic, but the effect, the finish this gives is fantastic. And then, of course, we've gone around with some tyre shine. I then went on to the exhaust and used a decarbonizer and then a metal polish. Um, and once again, it's all those little details because the body won't look great, but your eyes get drawn to wheels that aren't good, plastic and all that kind of stuff. So uh, the exhaust uh, uh, pipes are looking really, really good. Then you, um, because you love machine polishing, you did a cracking job. Um, so, and I, I've, I've, got to, I've, I've got to put it there. Oh, thank you. Um, what did you do? So yeah, so I, uh, I did the pillars. Um, with these ones, they needed two hits. So I uh, got my trusty um, na uh, Nano out and uh, gave them a good hit and they have come out really, really well. Two I'm hits, really yeah. You're, you're looking on the video, loads of cobwebs. and um, There's a few deep scratches in there, but we've got massive we've, improvement. We've got probably a 90, 95% improvement on them. Most of the deep, it, it, only a couple of la deep scratches left in it. And I was really, really happy with how yeah. they turned out. Then you went on to the front grill, all the plastics, and yeah. I usually don't bother with it, but what a difference. They looked... They looked milky, didn't they? The pl plastic. Uh, yeah, the plastic. so they, they, they were dulled quite a bit, and so I got Andy's uh, trusty Flex uh, PXE80 out with the uh, flexible attachment. Everyone likes a flexible shaft, Carl. Oh, we all like a flexible shaft. Yes. Well, there's certain times we don't. Uh, anyway, continue. Uh, anyway, <laughs> but uh, yeah, used the cone attachment on the on the flexi, and yeah. It, just added an extra dimension to making this car pop in my mind so it, it the, was the, the milkiness went the plastic looked darker and shiny and, yeah. and it was in sympathy with the rest of the car exactly so absolutely brilliant um but like i say you're going to see the f final results in a minute so summary time um really really enjoyed the products we've given you an evaluation of them all um and the, we keep using this word finesse and it's an enjoyment um, now, in terms of all the products, um, what's your favourite? What really caught your attention? Do you know what? It, it, I, it might sound cliche and, and everything else like that, but it had to be the wax for me. It was such a pleasure to apply, even more of a pleasure to remove. So, I'll do. Let's go through our test. Let's go through our test. Okay, this isn't a wax test, but should we go through the sheet, how we evaluate yeah, the test? Exactly. So, ease of application. Bob on. Absolutely. Yeah. Hazing time. It was, it was about five minutes. You weren't, it says you're not looking for a haze anyway. Don't, don't let it dry. So it says don't let it dry. And we left it about five minutes. And then it, it was just a simple wipe to remove. It, it is probably the easiest it wax is. I've ever had yeah. to remove. No grabbiness, no smearing. Um, we get hung up on the grabby piece um, because it's part of the user experience. You don't want it to be grabby and you not go and use your wax again. And for a wax like this, you don't want it on the shelf. Do you have to emphasise the point, though, that there is an argument that grabbiness on removal may suggest longevity of the wax. So it's not a bad thing, but from a uh, user experience point of view, but, it's a good thing. But there's also that point is, it, you, like we showed in one of our previous uh, waxes we tested, if you apply too much, that can also cause grabbiness. But in yep. this, no. I, I, I could think you could put a ridiculous amount on if you could, actually. Well, we did when we plastered yeah. it on with our hands. It just came off yeah, as easy. Yeah, it still came off really, really easy. So I don't think that was an issue on here. I Agreed. Think, like I said, easiest one I've ever removed. I agree with you. I agree. And we have tested a lot. OK, uh, um, finish and paint enhancement um, definitely darkened the colour. Yeah, definitely. Because of that, it seemed to pop. It, 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 it glowed. Um, and where we've, we were having a chat about it, where we've found some waxes give a sort of milky effect, the clarity of this wax, it didn't affect the clarity. So if you add a, f a fleck paint, it's going to be absolutely brilliant because it's really going to amplify it. Well, it? we found that with Shield as well. Shield had this sort of almost glass-like finish. Hygienic, and, I think we yeah, call it. Yeah, and, 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 and that was the same with Carrot. It, although, yes, we say it did darken the paint and the gloss was fantastic, but there was almost that clinical kind of finish. Yeah. And if, You'd had the perfect paintwork because although we, we did our best to improve that paintwork as best as we can, we, we definitely didn't get it perfect. Mm. But on a paintwork that's perfect, holy... I know. Can I, you I, imagine I, that on metallic? No. Uh, pucker. 
pucker. Right, we'll whizzing through this because it's not a full time or wax review. Hydrophobicity, sheeting, and beading. Okay, so um, we looked at the hydrophobicity. Um, the beading um, with the K9 applied was slightly prouder, but the main difference was the sheeting of the K9 as opposed to the just the carrot applied. So, um, really depends what you want. Do you want the aesthetics of big beads at the compromise of if they dry could leave watermarks or do you want to avoid the watermarks by having the K9 applied where it's sheeting off? Very subjective and it's personal preference. I, I still like beading. No, but I like the, the idea of K9 protecting my wax. So what are your thoughts? So yeah, so everybody loves, I say everybody, majority of people, especially the TCB group, group members, we all love showing that beading photograph, and, yeah. and, and we do love a good bit of beading. Mm. However, we do know the pitfalls of bead, water beading. Yeah. Um, detailing is about detailing is about compromise, isn't it? Exactly, and, and I'm not going to say this is the most hydrophobic wax we've ever used. I, 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 we've no other. No, we've, we've we've used synthetic waxes that are slightly. But this is this is it, like they said is we added the canine purposely there not only to protect the wax but to increase that hydrophobicity and it works and it works absolutely durability longevity etc okay so um we used to do a bit of chemical testing um not that realist realistic it's it gives something but we're going back to real world testing now okay so we're going to expose this to the rigmaroles of life three two three months daily driving, the resistance, all the dirt, the, the maintenance washes and all that kind of stuff. And I've asked the owner when it starts to degrade, we're going to get the car back and, and, and look at a side-by-side -side comparison. Um, now, I know lots of people want to know the results now, but we are, and we all the waxes we're doing, we're coming back after two and three months to give updates. And they're honest updates. And they're, you can't be real-world testing. No, exactly that. And uh, we purposely, as you know, in the video that we'd covered half the bonnet with the uh, the wax and the canine, mm -hmm. and then the other uh, other half of the bonnet, we only did dealt with the wax. So we mm. should be able to get exactly how that wax is going to cope within a real world situation, and how much extra protection the canine is giving us on top of that wax. Mm. So it should be interesting to see. It'd be interesting to see if the canine wears away and then they start to marry up. But uh, we don't know. We don't know. Okay, so um, Carl has asked the owner if, um, when it's raining, we can have some shots. Um, and it was raining um, today, and I think it's raining tomorrow, so we might get some photographs. If I get the photographs in time for the edit, I'll include them. Packaging, presentation, quality of the pour and the smell. The smell is divine. In fact, all Swiss facts, they all smell the same. Is it? It's not tooty fruity. It's I don't know what it is. It's, I did look online and they someone said what passion fruit. Passion fruit. I think it's smells lovely. The packaging, standardised packaging. Okay, clinical, clean, no fuss, like it. But Paul, high end at the, way, at the same point. It does, and and, and they've nailed it. And there's a standardisation. You know, if you if you're scanning pots of wax and you see that, you know it's a Swiss fax. Yeah. The pour, uh, the pour is. It's almost a functional pour, isn't it? Really, it's not. It's not a perfect level smooth. But well, it wasn't perfectly level. We did have a bit, a bit of a rise on, on say the centre part mm. of it. However, there was no shrinkage. There was no cracking. So, in in the t sense of a pour, I've 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 seen better. Oh, However, yeah. I've seen a damn sight worse. Absolutely, and it's made in the factory by hand. It's got that high canola content. Um, you know what I mean? It's it's about the ingredients and what it gives, really. Um, but um, um, I think we're there. Right, okay, so the next bit is value for money. Um, and this is where it gets a bit tricky. Okay, so you clicked on the thumbnail, and the thumbnail was, is this the ultimate detailing experience? Now, the, this is my opinion, this is Carl's opinion. Um, it is very, very subjective. And we already know people are probably queuing up um, to critique um, on the price. But we'll come to the price in a minute. But in terms of a brand experience, this is, this is pretty much high up there for me. And the reason why I say it is because I felt privileged to be using this kind of stuff. It's a luxury brand. It's like when I wear a pair of Oakley sunglasses that cost 150 pounds, I enjoy wearing a luxury brand. You can go and wear, you know, buy a, a 15 pound. Some people wear Prada shoes for a thousand pounds. Some people go to Primark and wear 15 pounds. They do the same, they last as long. There's, there's a feel good factor that I get from using a luxury, a luxury brand. Um, so that's one part of it. And in terms of the products themselves, there's a, I keep using this word, there's a finesse, a gentleness, a caring um, calmness about the products. They're not aggressive valeting products. They are, they are, if you've got a lovely car, this fits into it. And I can see why classic cars and high-end cars use this stuff. 
Um, I, I absolutely love it. So um, the answer to me is this has been one of my most enjoyable reviews and it's nothing to do with the price. Um, it is because I thoroughly enjoyed using everything, even unpackaging the microfibers. The packaging is superb. It's, 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 it's they've they nailed it for me. They've nailed it for me. So um, we'll talk about the price in a minute in terms of uh, experience for you. It's, it's very much the same. So I look at this as, it, yeah, it's your Prada versus Prada markets, your Oakleys versus your, your cheap, uh, cheap rend uh, sunglasses. You put on a 15 pair of sunglasses, you, you, feel, you feel all right, it's protecting you. However, you do feel differently when you put a set of Oakleys, set of Ray-Bans, all that kind of stuff. And, and, why, this, and, and, this, why, and why can't the detailing industry have a luxury brand? We don't critique people wearing Oakleys, but people seem to critique these high-end, expensive detailing brands. Um, it's about choice. But it is about choice. And I, I'm going to go back to that original question. Has mm. this been the ultimate detailing experience? For me, this has got to be the most enjoyable experience in my detailing journey so far. Why? Why? I, it's, I, all of you know I love machine polishing, and it, and it was that. But when you finish a machine polishing, okay, you want something to enhance the work that you've done. Mm. And, and in most cases, that is normally followed by a ceramic coating. However, I, I I felt good about myself applying this. Mm. I, it, it, it gave this me a warmth. It's hard to articulate this, it, is because it, it, it's a feeling, it's an emotion. It really, it, really is it, you, for us anyway. Anyone who's a, a, a real wax enthusiast and they find a wax that just seems to just give them warmth and a smile as they apply it and everything else like that, this is what this did for me. And I, I, yeah, it is, it is a high end wax, mm. and, and that's probably added to the experience. Mm. In fact, I know it has because when, how often do you get to touch and play with a high-end wax of Swiss wax, of Swiss wax, rare, especially in, in, in my world, mm. all right? Me, I've enjoyed every moment of doing this with you yeah. and I would quite happily dip my hand back in that pot again and smack it on another In a weird kind of way, we both collect, wa collect waxes. It'd almost be wrong to not have a pot of Swiss wax in your collection. Uh, I've got this at the front of one of my chillers. And the fact that we've got a premium, higher sort of end of the Swiss fax, um, I feel privileged, lucky um, to have this as part of my collection. Okay, so that, that's us trying to articulate. We thought long and hard about how we're explaining this, and all we've done is turn that camera on and we're talking about it, because this is, this is open and honest. <clears throat> we're not trying to sell this stuff, this is our honest. Right, okay, so we've not talked about the price that much. Okay, so let's quickly talk about it, and I don't want to get bogged down by it. 1,400 quid. <clears throat> For a wax. Now, people are going to be thinking, I know a wax that gives better hydrophobics, I've got a wax that does more gloss, I've got a wax that is easy to remove, okay, for 30, 40, 50 quid, why would I spend that? And I think we've, we've tried to explain that already. Um, but, sorry, go on. So, yeah, it is that thing. You know, every single person probably who's going to watch this video, yeah, you could possibly find a cheaper wax that is going to perform better than it. This is not what this is about. It's not all about the performance, it's, it's is not it? All, it's, it, it? I'm a wax, I, I'm, a, I'm a, not a we'll go connoisseur, I, I, but I, I, I am. I, You've I'm, got a, a I'm an enthusiast for, car for it. Wax. Yeah. yeah. Where do I see this wax? Okay, it's not gonna, we, we've done it on Daddy Runner, which would be unusual to use a wax of this expense. Agreed, on a, but after seeing what that's well, done to the car that you're gonna see. <laughs> it is. I know what you're saying, but. but, but it's, it's that yeah. thing is, those high-end car owners, you know, those Ferraris, those Aston Martins, those McLarens. Classic cars. Classic cars. Single stage you know, paint. Exactly. They have spent a small fortune on that car, okay? Why would you not, when you're spending that kind of money, want to put something a luxury that is a, a, another luxury item to go with that's it? That's exactly it's, where I am. And I think yep. that's where that hits. It's not an everyday person's wax, all right? Unless you're absolutely minted. Well, yeah. Um, however, but this is for your high-end cars for me, or your high-end classic cars. That's where this sits, yeah. and it rightly sits there in my mind. And you don't want to waste this on a car that's really, really bad. I mean, we, we had to spend a lot of time transforming that car. Um, and you could use it on a daily run if it's really, really good. If you get a good feel back, a factor about it, this is subjective, it's personal choice. There is no right and wrong answer. Okay, so if people critique what we've done on this video, that's your opinion, I'm not going to argue. 
Okay, that's your opinion, this is our opinion. Um, and feel free to go and do a video yourself, uh, which we'll enjoy. And we're great believers <coughs> um, that um, this, this is our opinion, okay? I respect everyone else's opinion. If they, if they see this in a totally different angle, fair play to you, but, um, uh, and, and, I, and I respect your decision. We're all different. If you do a video, but tag it into into our YouTube channel because yeah. we would quite happily love to see your opinion on on this wax because yeah. it's all about open honesty and having difference of opinion. Mm. That's what makes our community. That's it. Amazing. How, how boring would it be if we all agreed? Exactly. Exactly. No. We lo love the I discussion. I don't always agree with Andy. Andy doesn't always agree with me. But that's but, but the But usually beauty. I'm right. Okay, yeah. so we are going to leave it there. We're going to leave it there. Okay, so we are planning. Um, we're not going to just get bogged down by doing loads of Swiss Vax. Um, we've done HP Source, we've done loads of other waxes. We will revisit Swiss Vax um, this year. Um, if there's a product that you want us to review from Swiss Vax, tell us, just pop it down there. And if there's a wax, because it's a massive range, if there's a Swiss Vax um, wax that you've used or you've had an issue with, or you'd like some kind of appraisal, we are more than happy to go and get it for you, okay, and do a review. So just pop the name of the wax you want done and I promise you we'll go and get it. Right, going on from what Andy said, okay, not just Swiss Vax, this is our year of wax. So if you have With a, a splattering of ceramic. <laughs> with a splattering of ceramic. If you have a wax that you would like us to try, drop it down in the comments, because we would love to try any it brand. ourselves. Any brand, any type of wax, give us a shout, and we will do our best to get that reviewed. Absolutely. Okay, so uh, the big bit, we're gonna take the car outside. I'm gonna do a bit of filming in, in here, because the car's just there. We're gonna take it outside and show you how good this car looks. And it's probably one of the best cars we've transformed um, this, um, this year. It's not really saying much because it's, it's February. <laughs> okay, but really, really happy with this. I hope you enjoy um, what we've done and uh, we'll see you on the next video. So from uh, Carl and Andy, thank Bye. you very much.